Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today we will be completing the app, the chatting app that we had started in the previous class. Now what happens when the app is started for the first time? We need to populate our list picker that is our room picker with the room names and if there are existing messages already on the cloud DB, we need to retrieve them and display them to the user. So let's get the screen one's initialize event. So we click on screen one and get the initialize block for it. So the first thing we need to do is that we need to populate our room picker with the room names. So let's first fill up our room name list with the name of rooms. So if I go to my variables, I can get a set block, choose rooms list and let's make our list. So go to list and make a list. Let me add another item to it by clicking on the cog wheel and dragging an item from the left hand side to the right hand side. So the first item in our rooms list is this general room name. So I'm going to duplicate this one. The reason I'm duplicating it is and not just adding a text block and typing it in is that it should be exactly the same because we are using this in our tag. So it should not be different. I mean, there should not be an extra space in it or a spelling mistake. So I'm just duplicating it from here and putting it here, okay? The other rooms, I'm going to make one a movies room and the third one is the books room. You can have some other rooms. Now I'm going to set my room picker dot elements to my room list. So go to variables and get the getter and choose room list. So first I provided the values to my rooms list and then I gave the room list to the elements of my room picker. The next thing is that we need to get existing data from our cloud DB. So go to cloud DB and it has a block get value and the tag. Now remember the tag should be specific to the room name. So I'm just going to duplicate this one because it should be exactly the same. So in this case, because the screen is being initialized, the room name is now general. So by default, when the app is opened, we show existing messages for the general chat room, okay? And value, if tag is not there, will be an empty list. So if there's no data in the cloud DB, just make it an empty list, okay? Now this procedure, get value, triggers an event called got value after it receives a response from the server, okay? So if I go to cloud DB, I will see that there's a block which is when cloud db dot got value. So this is triggered when we receive any data from the cloud db. Okay. This is in response to the get value procedure. Inside it, I'm going to check if the data is specific to my tag. Okay. So I'm going to then show the messages to the user. So get the if block. And inside that we are going to check by using an equal to block form logic and hover over tag to get its getter. So if the tag is the same as our room name plus chat tag, then we will show the messages. So just duplicate this and plug it in here. Okay. So uh, you can see that what we're doing is that we are considering the room name, making sure that we are showing the messages relevant to that particular room that has been chosen by the user okay so if the data is correct then i'm going to set my chat messages list to the value that is the list of messages sent by the cloud db so get value okay and i'm also going to now show these messages to the user so i have populated my global chat messages list by the data sent by the cloud db i'm going to now go to my messages list that is the list view and set its elements to my chat messages list so go to variables get the get okay so if my 
tag is correct, I got the correct data, then I'm going to set my global chat messages list to whatever data has been sent by the cloud DB and I'm then going to set my list views elements to my chat messages list, okay? Remember that the other users of our app can also send messages. Whenever the cloud DB is changed by anyone, a data changed event is triggered. So if I go to cloud DB, I will see that there we have this when cloud DB dot data changed event and it will have exactly the same logic as got value. So I can just duplicate this block and plug it in here. Okay. So if the data changed is specific to the room that I am in right now, then I should get the changed data. That is whatever message has been added. Okay. Last but not the least, remember that we have rooms and this is why we are using the room name in our tag to differentiate messages from different rooms. So what should happen when a user changes the room by choosing a different room from the list picker? Okay, this room picker. Our chat messages should also change to that room's messages. So if I click on room picker, we have this event when room picker dot after picking. Okay, so this means that the user has chosen a different room. So in this case, first of all, we are going to change our room name, the variable room name, to whatever has been chosen by the user. So if I click on my room picker, I have this block room picker dot selection. So the room name is now equal to whatever has been selected by the user. The next thing is that I want to change my label, which in the beginning is saying room colon general to whatever room has been chosen by the user. So if I go to my room name, I will get the set for it. Remember, this is the label on the screen and not the variable room name. Okay. So set room name dot text to a join of room colon space and then whatever has been chosen by the user so get the getter for it and get room name okay last but not the least we should again just like screen initialize we should get the messages for this particular room okay so I'm going to go and duplicate this call to procedure, just like we used in screen one dot initialize. We can just use this. So duplicate it and bring it down and make it a part of this script. Okay. So after a room has been chosen, we are going to set it to a global variable. And we are going to change the label on our screens to reflect the room name, the new room name. And we are going to call the DB and get all the messages related to that room name by providing the correct tag. Okay. And as you know that this get value will trigger the got value event. And this will then update our list view to show the messages related to that particular room. So this is done. Have fun coding this app and impress your friends by chatting with them using this app and if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the cool things that I have planned for you and please like this video and tell your friends and family about my channel all my classes related to coding mental maths and app development are very detailed and 100% free thank you for watching my video today have a good day and goodbye